Hey there, welcome to our channel. I'm Megan, and today I'm going to introduce Ift AI. Ift AI is a suite of 10 services on the Ift platform that all use generative AI in one way or another. Together, these tools are super useful for professionals, students, or content creators. Even if you just want to improve your communication skills, these tools will be helpful. I'll go into each service and what its core competencies are, and then we'll do a deep dive into some of the ways that you can use them in bundles. Here is a comprehensive list of all of the AI services that are on the platform. The first two are just for creating kind of general content and for helping to curate ideas for your content. So that is social creator, and content creator. Social creator is great for broad social media posts. AI content creator generates long form content like blogs and outlines, but it also helps to generate ideas or titles. AI summarizer is really helpful because it can summarize content that you want to read down to its basic components. AI prompt is very broad, but you can write anything in there with a specific output in mind and it will generate that text for you. The next four, we have content that's going to be tailored for specific social media platforms that you may be active on. So this is YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. These are really great for cross-posting your content from platform to platform, making sure that it adheres to standards and best practices for each platform and that'll perform the best. After these, we have AI translation and AI grammar assistant. AI translation will translate your text between multiple languages so it can be accessible to a global audience. This could be helpful for any communication that you're doing over text or the internet. Lastly, we have Grammar Assistant. This is one that just professionals and students across the board could use. It's going to be correcting grammar, punctuation, and style. Now that we have an overview of the services, let's get into each one and see some of the most popular applets that are made for it. Here we see a lot of scenarios where the social creator is writing a social update from a blog post that's already been published. Now we're looking at AI content creator and I'm going to go into the details section so you can get an idea of all of the things that this query can do. So this can draft content. So if you have specific topic in mind, this query can draft the content for it. It can also draft content from an outline if you're a little further along in your process, but it can also provide blog outlines. It can brainstorm titles for your post and even give you ideas on a specific topic. So really from conception to publishing, this can help you create content anywhere along the way. Here are some of the most popular applets for the service. One of the top ones is just to generate a draft blog post for a topic. I really like this one, automatically receive AI generated blog titles and content when you add a note to your note widget. A lot of times, if you're on your phone a lot, it's really easy to just add something that pops into your head into a note and go address it and flesh it out more later on. So this is a really convenient way to just put it on paper. Here we have AI Summarizer. This is going to make written content easier to understand. There are several ways it can do this and one is as a meeting assistant. It can generate takeaways and action items and a little meeting summary blurb from your meeting notes. But you can also get summaries from RSS feeds, which might be full of a specific topic that you're interested in staying up to date on. AI prompt is a really powerful one because you can leverage whatever input you're putting into the trigger to generate answers to a question or ask for a personalized response. You can ask it anything that you want a response to. A really fun one is ask me any question and that is triggered also from the note widget. This one is just going to automatically generate a response to emails that you forward to IFT with a specific tag. This one is using SMS to receive your responses when you add a question to your note widget. Now we're getting into the platform specific social media assistant. And first we're starting with YouTube. And even though YouTube is of the video medium, you still need to use text in the description and in the title. And they're actually really important how your videos rate. And a couple of the popular applets for this service are whenever I add a YouTube video idea to the note widget, 
create a Google Doc with the script outline. This one on the right is bundling all of the queries together to generate titles, hashtags, descriptions, and a script outline for your video idea with one topic or note and it's doing that all in one applet. The Twitter assistant is going to do the same thing for Twitter. And one of the most popular applets is to optimize Instagram posts for Twitter. That's just a really common way for people to cross post on social media. This applet is very specific towards Twitter because Twitter bios have a specific style and relatively small character limit. So this is going to add those ideas for bios into a spreadsheet for you. LinkedIn Assistant is one of the most popular social media assistants. It is helping you write for LinkedIn, which is a natural in general for a lot of people. So I think I can understand why people feel that they need help writing for LinkedIn. So using AI to tailor Instagram posts for LinkedIn is a common one. And here's one that I really like, which is generate a LinkedIn article based on a topic every week. And another favorite of mine is the LinkedIn headline generator, but having a strong headline can really be the difference between someone's perception of you as a professional when they first see your profile. Here's the Facebook assistant. It's not too different from the others. This one's using AI to generate a Facebook post based on a YouTube video that you've published, and then it will publish that post. This is one I'm a fan of because I use Facebook ads a lot in my profession. So this is gonna help generate ad copy options and it'll put the results into ClickUp for you to choose from when you're building out ads. And down here, Facebook post generator. This is very classic and simple, but I like it because you send a text with the topic that you want the post to be about and you'll receive a text back from Ift with the copy. Translation is going to translate text into any language. Some of the popular applets here are to send Ift an email and get an AI translated draft email in return in the language that you specified. And using AI to translate new tweets by a specific user and add them to a Google Sheet. So if you follow someone that uses a different language than your native language, this can help you consume that content in an easy way, all in one place. Here's another really accessible one where you will write the text that you want to be translated in your note widget and get an AI response from a push notification. Here's the grammar assistant, and it's going to help you copy edit for grammar specifically, but you can submit drafts of your blog posts or social content or even an email or a text that you're drafting that you just want to cross your eyes, dot your t's. And it can also improve writing structure and spelling. Here are some of the most popular applets for it. And this one is very simple. Send ift an email and get an AI edited draft email in return. A lot of times communication is going to be happening quickly and in your inbox. And so you can edit this while you're still in your email client and not have to leave to do the grammar check. So those are the AI services available all in one place. I wanted to go through some use cases for professionals or students or content creators. The ones that could be the most useful for students are AI prompt. If you just have a question about something that you're studying, you can get a really quick answer without pausing to derail whatever you're doing and having to do internet research. Also, AI summarizer. Uh, students are going to be taking in a lot of information and summarizing where appropriate can really help productivity. And lastly, of course, content creator. Writing is a really common task that students need to do a lot of and helping to generate first drafts or just get ideas or outlines can be a good way to shape your content. The next person that can really benefit from these tools are professionals, and that is definitely gonna start with the LinkedIn assistant. Professionals are also often on Twitter just talking about their industry, and professionals also need to create content. The social and content creator are both really helpful here. Specifically, the summarizer, generating takeaways from meeting notes is huge. If you're someone that just takes notes and automatically summarizes them, and send out to your colleagues afterwards, your work is going to look very put together. Professionals should be making extensive use of the grammar assistant, especially in the email domain, but they may not take up that offer. 
I'm also thinking about ways as a professional to use the AI grammar assistant in Slack because we have a Slack integration and that is where a lot of my communication happens personally. So being able to have that error-free sign-off could be really beneficial. And the last is anyone who's a content creator. If you're a social creator or you're a blogger, you can really benefit from the social creator tools, any of the specific social media assistants, and certainly from the summarizer. There is also a custom GPT, which can be used to run actions remotely from the ChatGPT platform. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see more of this content and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks and have a good day.